May 1987. On that morning, Archbishop Thomas Murphy arrived in this archdiocese and made his very first appearance at a gathering of priests. He came to us as a virtual stranger, uncertain what the future would hold. It was an anxious time, anxious for him and for the people he came to serve. On the morning of that gathering, the tension in the air was palatable. The waters of our sea had been troubled and sometimes turbulent, and these priests were poised to meet the man who would be their next archbishop, a coadjutor bishop with the right of succession. Archbishop Murphy received a polite but not overly effusive reception. A wait-and-see attitude prevailed while an ocean of questions abounded in the minds of both the clergy and the laity alike. Thomas Murphy was a quick study. He sized up this presbyterate and responded to questions with warmth and with candor. His overall message remains forever in my mind. I have come here as a friend and brother to Archbishop Hunthausen and to assist this church in any way I can. His words were brief and poignant and moving. The priests were disarmed by his high decibel laugh and by that beige Colombo style overcoat. <laughs> by the end of the morning, most were relieved, some were not. Humorist Will Rogers once observed, a diplomat is someone who says, nice doggy, nice doggy, until they can find a big enough rock. <laughs> but no rocks followed. Only evidence of a man who cared deeply for the church and who wanted little else in life and to serve his Lord as a disciple, a bishop, and a friend. 